One person! You guys alright? Oh, good, Portland! Ah, oh, here we are! Yeah. You guys ruined weed. You guys have ruined it. You have ruined pot. It's not cool anymore. You guys have made it too legal. It's too legal. Pot used to be a dangerous drug, that's what they told us. And if you smoked it, you were sticking it to the man, you were rebelling against something. Now it just makes sick kids feel better. It's not the same. I've actually noticed as pot has become more and more legal, I've been doing more and more cocaine. I've seen how that's been happening. They finally did it. They made pot a gateway drug. I got arrested recently. Yeah, Iowa. They don't have the same. No, stop it. <laughs> Woo, Iowa. I mean, it's fine, but I had a bowl of weed and then I got pulled over because my headlight was out and I didn't realize my headlight was out, you know, because I was super high. And uh, I mean, I was on the earth, you know what I mean? Like, I was on the crust of the earth and I was on the road. It's like, what else do you want from me? <laughs> I saw those cherries come up behind me, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. I know I'm not speeding. There's no way I'm speeding. <laughs> don't speed when you're high, you're on it. <laughs> but I'd seen the anti-pop commercials, so I was convinced that there was a little girl on a bicycle dragging underneath my car. <laughs> Cop came up to the window, I'm like, is she okay? <laughs> it's like, your headlight's out. I was like, oh, my headlight. <laughs> See you later then? <laughs> Hold on, son, I'll be back. Okay, Dad! Goes back to his car, gets a drug dog, starts walking a drug dog around my car. I stick my head out the window. I'm like, ah, is he gonna fix the light? <laughs> Cut to jail. Because the police, terrible senses of humor. Awful. They're awful. They're, it's the bad haircuts, right? You're not laughing at anything when you look like a gym teacher from the 80s. It's not happening. <laughs> Which I get, right? I mean, you don't have a lot of mirror time when you're a cop. You don't got a lot of time. You know what I mean? You gotta buzz it down. You don't have time to have a, a like a hairstyle, you know? When you're out tasering grandmothers or whatever it is they do now. First they needed me in jail, they put me in a very well-lit room, and I mean bright. You ever been to jail, bud? No, never been to jail. Boy, you're so fucking good, aren't you? Well, I'll figure it out. First they needed me in jail, they put me in a very well-lit room, and I mean bright. A very bright and small room, and then a man came inside that room, who I assume worked there, made me take off all my clothes, and he looked inside my ass. Can we dim the lights a little bit? We don't have to see each other's souls. So upset, but he didn't find anything in there too. He was so disappointed, which now I get. I mean, that's that guy's job. He's doing that eight hours a day. You're gonna need all the drugs you can find if that's your job. He was like an asshole troll. That's what he was like. And they put me in a cell with like 30 other guys, and obviously I'm a badass motherfucker, but I gotta be honest with you guys, man. I was scared, I was terrified in there, but I knew what I had to do, you know what I mean? I'd seen the movies, I felt prepared, I knew what I had to do. I had to start a library and teach people how to read. <laughs> I started stealing this year. That's my, uh, Thing. Started stealing. Yeah. Suppose you don't steal either, huh? No, you don't steal. You've never been to jail. I don't like you. Suppose you've never had chlamydia before either. Yes, I've had chlamydia, lady. Yes. It's not that bad. Get out there. Have some fun. It's not that bad. It's not. It's not that bad. 
no symptoms, almost no symptoms. You take like four pills, seven days later, you're fine. You're fine. Which is nowhere near as bad as wearing a condom during sex. Not even close. Not even close, lady. Come on, have some fun. Started stealing. It's not because I can't afford stuff. I'm fine. I just can't wait in line anymore. I'm done waiting in line. And airport sandwiches. I'm stealing airport sandwiches now. We should all be stealing airport sandwiches. Twelve dollars for a soggy ham sandwich? Oh, yeah, those are ours now, dick. I take like nine at a time. Just hand them out to people at my gate. I'm like the Robin Hood of Delta. I want you guys to think that I'm not successful. I'm very successful. I've done very well for myself. I have a lot of shit, you know what I mean? I have credit card debt, my friend's Netflix password. Those are the two things that I have. That's it. That's all I got. We're all using like one of ten Netflix logins. There's like ten of them out there. If you have your own Netflix login, you're in the Illuminati. Let's see that means. Yeah, you're going to Eyes Wide Shut parties. <laughs> Remember? Tommy Cruz, put your mask on, bud! <laughs> I'm so sick of, like, middle-aged guys. What's up, bud? You seem cool. I'm just talking about, like, middle-aged guys that have stuff. You know what I mean? It's so annoying. They have, like, jobs and houses and families. Like, Ugh. It's only middle-aged dudes that come up to me after shows and ask me how much money I make. It's only middle-aged dudes that do that. Oh, I know why you're asking, too. Oh, yeah, I know why. You want to hear that I'm struggling? Yeah, so you feel better about that soul-sucking sales job that you devoted your lives to. The woman you married that you don't like. The kid you had with that woman that you barely like. But you can't put that on me, man. You can't fill the hole in your soul with my problems. Just because I chose to take a different path, take a chance, live with some gamble, live with some fervor. Which used to be the most American thing you could do as a man, by the way. Taking a chance, taking a gamble. You used to shove your whole family into a wagon and head out west to search for gold. Sure, two of your kids would die of dysentery and your wife would get trampled by a buffalo, but at least, at least you'd call yourself a man. No, now it's my 401k or my health insurance plan. I don't have health insurance. I don't need it. I got car insurance. If I get sick, I'll get into a car accident. <laughs> So if somebody T-bones me, <laughs> you broke my leg and gave me testicular cancer. <laughs> I don't got it all figured out like you, but I don't got it all figured out. You guys are all so perfect, you know? You got beautiful families and wives and everything. You guys, ugh, I don't got it all figured out, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be, you know? I don't know what my calling was. I know what I should have been. I know what I would have been good at. I would have been the greatest Civil War general of all time. I should have been a Civil War general. I would have been an amazing... I would have won every single battle. I would have gone up to my troops before every battle. Like, hey, fellas, it's time. Let's hide behind some shit. It's to fight like idiots in the Civil Wars. Get big lines like 50 feet apart. Shoot each other in the face for like four straight days. And then... March to the next battle, blowing in trumpets and pounding on drums because they hated surprises in the Civil War. They hated it. Hey, I just want to make sure you know we're coming. Yes, in case you don't got your cannons ready. No, just aim them straight. We'll walk right into them. I don't have any, like, man skills, you know, I gotta work on that, I've been thinking about that, like, what happens when we get this, like, post-apocalyptic time hits us, you know, whatever, the economy collapses and we all turn on each other, what am I gonna do, you know? I wear disposable contacts, I'm on my last pair. <laughs> I was supposed to throw them out four months ago. I don't even own glasses, I'm one gust of wind away from being blind. <laughs> Thinking about getting a gun, you know what I mean? That's what I gotta do, get a gun. You got a gun, don't you, bud? Huh? You look scary. 
You don't have anything. You don't have a gun. You haven't ever been to jail. You ever have, have you ever sinned in your life? I don't like you. I don't want to fight you. Do you want to fight after the show? Just throw you right down the stairs. Just come out, grab you right down the stairs. What do you think? You're a lot bigger than I am. You're gonna win. I don't fight fair though, I want you to know that. I don't fight fair. I fight like a female dominatrix. That's how I fight. Yeah, a lot of pole play, folks. A lot of pole play. I think if you get a gun though, you kind of want, you're gonna kind of, you're gonna fantasize a little bit about shooting somebody, right? It's gonna be in the back of your head if you have a gun. Who's got a gun in here, anyone? Not with you, obviously, but. You got, you, 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 you kind of want to shoot somebody in a little bit? You fantasize about it? No, you're lying. You're a lying sack of shit. You know you're lying. You know you do. You fantasize about coming home one night and someone's trying to force themselves on your lady and you're like, yes, finally! And you run and you get your gun and I bring in two guns, that's what I do, and then I hand one to the intruder and then we duel like men. I want to bring dueling back. Dueling was the shit. Can you imagine somebody cuts you off at the grocery store, you just pull out your little handkerchief and you're like, we're dueling, bitch! We use old-timey guns, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter where you aim, it's up to God if you die. <laughs> Do you hunt with your, your, your shotguns? Is that it? Man, here you got, you're one serious motherfucker. <laughs> I think we should stop hunting deer. I think if we stopped hunting deer, they'd stop suicide bombing our cars. <laughs> I'm gonna say that again, because I feel like you guys fucking missed it. So, <laughs> stop hunting deer. And stop suicide bombing our cars. <laughs> That's what's happening, folks. They're not blinded by the lights, and then they're running in front of your car. That doesn't even make any sense. Stop saying that. No, the older bucks are taking all the young, uneducated, poor deer, and they're turning them into fundamentalists. <laughs> Promises of eternal afterlife on the hot white tail they can handle. <laughs> I want to learn how to build shit too. That's another thing I'm trying to learn how to do. You know, I'd be able to protect my family if I ever have one. You gotta be able to build stuff. Like, what if my kids need to sit down somewhere? I gotta be able to build a bench or something. You know what I mean? Started going to Home Depot, that's what I started doing. I started working on my projects, started going to Home They really want to know what you're building at Home Depot. They're into it. The people that wear orange aprons that work there, they're fucking into it. They want to be part of your project. I'm putting up picture frames on my bare white walled room. That's my project. I don't want to talk about it. Can we just leave me alone? Last time I was there, four guys, that's like the fourth guy coming up to me. I'm like, if another guy comes up to me, I'm playing along, I'm making something up. This is my Sunday, I want to have fun. Sure enough, guy comes up to me, he's like, hey buddy, hey buddy, what are you, what are you working on? <laughs> What are, you, what are you looking for? I got, what, what's your project to help you out? <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, help you out. <laughs> All right. Uh, trying to install a sex swing. <laughs> Didn't even phase this dude. He didn't even, he didn't even miss a beat. He's like, oh yeah? You're gonna try to hang that down from the ceiling, man? He's like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, sure. All right, all right. What kind of waiter we support here? Oh, sure. I like him big, man. I gotta be honest. You know, I like him big. All right. Make sure we anchor that into a load-bearing beam, okay? <laughs> Go and put that right in the drywall, that lady will rip it right out of there. <laughs> Didn't have the heart to tell them, folks. How could I tell them I was kidding? No way. <laughs> so excited for me. 
So now I have a sex swing. Oh yeah, I hang plants in it. That's what I do. Really large plants. Gotta be able to protect your lady though, right? Huh? Getting out there, protecting her, you got your arm around her, right? Is that how bad she wants to leave you? You gotta constantly <laughs> stay right here, bitch. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> gotta protect your lady, right? You getting out there, you're protecting your lady's honor. Yeah. I almost snapped my knee in half protecting my lady's honor the other night. She came running into my room, she looked up at me with her big, beautiful green eyes, and she's like, hey, can I use your computer quick? I just gotta look something up, and I dove, I'm like, no! Just tell me what you want, I'll look it up. You gotta protect your lady from all that horrible shit you look at online. Bad, isn't it? You're acting like you don't watch porn, aren't you? That's what you're doing right now. You're not laughing at anything. You're like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> you know you are. You can't get away from it. Oh, that was sick. Is you kissing now? Do you watch porn, bud? What do you do? Huh? What do you like? What's that? What do you like? What do you do? What's your style? Fine, I'll just keep giving and, giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. You guys can just keep taking and taking and taking. I'm into BDSM, okay? You happy? Like tying bitches up. Okay, it's getting weird now. Uh, I'm blaming you, sir. This is your fault. Can't blame us though. Porn's on our phone. Do you watch porn on your phone? Yeah, see? How can we even get away from it? Even if you didn't want to watch porn, you're like, oh shit, it's on my phone. My eyes haven't been on the road in three years. <laughs> Barely even steer with my hands anymore. Just making awkward eye contact with truckers all day. Porn's been in my life since I turned 13. Yeah, you know what happened when I turned 13? Yeah, my parents got dial-up. <laughs> Changed my whole life. You guys remember dial-up? It would take like 10 minutes for one grainy, shitty picture to load in, and it would fill in top-down slowly. <laughs> so if you were lucky, the lady would be sitting upright. <laughs> I used to print the pictures off, that's what I would do, print them off, save them for later. That's what I thought. Of course, I left one on the printer accidentally, absentmindedly left one on there. My mom found it, I'll never forget. That day I was in my room, she just came up to my room, the door burst open, she just has this picture, she just holds it right in my face, she just holds it. It's a weird thing for your mom to be holding what's on. And I gathered myself, I'm like, Mom, that's Dad's. <laughs> And why does he need those pictures? Doesn't he love you anymore? It's okay, they're divorced now. <laughs> it's getting serious though for me, man. It's getting serious. My lady just stopped taking her birth control. Yeah. She thinks that since she stopped taking her birth control, it's caused her to gain weight. I think it's all the cake I've been hiding her pill in. <laughs> she loves dessert. I don't want to be a dad, man. I don't want to be a dad. I want to be a stepdad. That's what I really want to be. I want to be a stepdad. That's where it's at. Right? Kid turns out okay. You're like, yeah, I helped raise him. <laughs> He's a complete moron. You're like, fuck, don't look at me. He's not my kid. <laughs> Talk to his dad already. 
I just want to have a beautiful wife and kids so people are sad when I die. That's <laughs> all you ever hear about, you know? You're like, oh, you hear about Johnny? He passed away. He's so sad. He had such a beautiful wife and kids. You never hear about the guy with an ugly wife. <laughs> Gary, yeah, passed away. Well, his wife was ugly, probably for the best. <laughs> that was fun. Want to join a cult? time, man. Isn't it appealing? I don't want to be a cult leader. I want to be a cult follower, you know? That's what I want to do. I'm serious. I don't want to make decisions anymore. Can you imagine that? You do no more decisions. You don't have to worry about what you're eating. It's whatever the leader wants. It's whatever the leader of the cult wants. You don't have to worry about what, what are you going to watch on TV? Doesn't matter. Whatever the leader wants. Just tell me what color shirt I'm supposed to wear and the chores I'm supposed to do for the day. I'm fucking set. <laughs> And what? What? We're following a spaceship behind a comet or something, right? That's what we believe in? Fine. I was Catholic for 18 years. I can buy in anything. <laughs> well, you, guys, you guys are weirded out by this cult stuff, huh? Is it because of the militias around here? Is that what it is? Is it freaking you guys out? It's pretty funny. You guys got militias taking the shit over. <laughs> I love it. I wish I was in a militia. Are there any militia members here? <laughs> Is that like a secret thing? I don't know. You guys should be proud. Yeah, I don't know, man. I gotta get it together, though, you know? I really do. Like, I scheduled a dentist appointment last week for the first time in six years. <laughs> Yeah, so last week I flossed my teeth for the first time in six years. <laughs> yeah, when I woke up on the bathroom floor after passing out from a loss of blood, I realized... <laughs> that I missed my dentist appointment. <laughs> I went to the real doctor recently, yeah, the real doctor. He says I got the sad, the seasonal affective disorder. <laughs> okay, drug dealer. <laughs> There's seasons, that's what we're picking now, out of all the horrible shit that's going on in the world, the seasons. We got a water shortage in half the country, there's poison in our food, we got rogue police, school shootings, ISIS is cutting people's heads off, global warming, Russia's invaded the Ukraine, it's like, hey man, what's going on? Seem a little down. <laughs> yeah, chilly breeze, man. It's chilly. It's chilly breeze, it's me down. <laughs> I'm not making fun of depression, okay? I'm not making fun of it, sir. You're going through it. I get it. I get it. I'm not making fun of depression. I've been through it. I'm just way too embarrassed by my grammar to ever commit suicide. <laughs> Do you hear that Steve Gillespie killed himself? Yeah, apparently he just couldn't took it anymore. <laughs> If you're not laughing at that, yet, you're dumb. <laughs> if you're not unhappy, though, you're not looking hard enough, you know what I mean? That's what I think. And, uh, they're coming up with new stuff to be unhappy about, new drugs to fix it every single day. I feel bad for, like, middle-aged dudes. I, feel, I know I've been ripping on you, man, but I feel bad. <laughs> I do, I feel bad for you guys, man. I know you're armed, but I feel bad for you still, man. <laughs> I do! I've seen these testosterone commercials. Doesn't it piss you off? You can't even just age anymore? It's a medical condition to grow older now. Have you seen these commercials? They're like, are you old? As the days go by, do you get older? Did you used to be young and now you're old? How old are you again? Gross. Better start taking testosterone before your wife figures out that you're not the sex alien you were 25 years ago. It's so stupid. You're fine. Your dicks are fine. You're fine. No bottle down. Your dick's fine. 
right? You don't even need a big hard dick. That's the whole fallacy of it. You don't need, there's whole stores dedicated to big hard dicks. Just buy one. There's some walls. They have dicks that last forever. You don't even have to be in the room with her anymore. Just, is testosterone gonna make your dick vibrate? No, it's not. I can't even wait for my dick to stop working. I cannot wait. How much brain power does that open up? That's gotta open up so much brain power. Start reading. 40-hour work week, okay. I gotta want to brag, lady. I don't know why we're making eye contact, but I get a ton of erections. I get way more than I know what to do with, ladies. A ton of erections. I wish I could give them to dudes that need them. I really do. If I could adopt a boner program. A big brother, a bigger brother. Alright guys, I gotta get out of here. I have one thing to tell you. Go ahead and clap.